What are y'all doing down there? I've got a present for you. Do you want the present? It's behind my back. Do you want it? Are you sure? Are you sure you want to see it? All right, here we go. Subscribe. Did I get you? I think I got you. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Y'all may be wondering why I'm wearing two pairs of glasses. Well, one is an accessory and one helps me see. Before we get into the video, I will put the last three things I posted up in the eye if you want to go check them out. Anyway, all right, so here's what today's video is going to be. It's my friend's birthday today, and I wanted a nice present to give to her. She really loves sunflowers, and I really love Van Gogh, so I decided that I'm going to paint her something. Now, with this decision, comes some consequences because as you know van gogh not the easiest thing to replicate but i always wanted to paint the sunflowers in a vase and while i was doing some research i realized that he actually painted these sunflowers so many different times like i'll just pop a few pictures up on the screen knowing me and knowing that i like a challenge i decided i would paint them twice so that i could have one and then she could have one and i'll just give her the better looking one stay tuned until the end of the video because i give her her present and you can see her reaction to it um, I always struggle in my art to be kind of more flowy and just not care so much about what I'm painting. Like, I like spending a lot of time on detail and just stressing about what my painting looks like, but I didn't have a lot of time to paint. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna just do both of them and kind of try to go for a more flowy style kind of painting without focusing too much on the details and just get kind of the gist of the painting because I think that's what good artists do like they let your own eye fill in the detail of the painting like you don't need to paint something that is super super realistic because the human brain and the human eye will fill it in all right so I began with sketching out these two paintings so I used the grid method to sketch things out and I think that really helped because it helped me place the flowers and the circles exactly where I wanted to place them these sunflowers that I'm painting they're actually the ones modeled after the one with the yellow background but I like the blue background better and I like the sunflowers in the yellow background better if that makes sense so I just decided to make the background blue instead of yellow I mixed in my paints and I wanted to create this kind of goldish color but without the shine of the gold like I didn't use any sort of gold paint in it and you have to be really careful with this color when you're mixing it because it can turn into you know the color of things that are in the bathroom or in your toilet really quickly and now I'm painting the vase or the vase whatever you like to say comment down below what you like to say vase or vase are you a vase person now Van Gogh has this really nice outline that goes all around the vase and this nice little blue outline on the tabletop where the vase is sitting I hope I don't get sued by Van Gogh for signing his name on a painting that I copied and now comes the hard part because you have to start painting those sunflowers. A lot of these sunflowers in this painting, they're not actually full sunflowers. They are kind of just the middle part of the sunflower. It's They're kind of wilted almost. They're not in full bloom. It's kind of like the vase didn't have enough water in it. I wonder if like progressively as Van Gogh was painting these sunflowers, I wonder how long it took him. Like maybe it took him like a week and then all the water evaporated from the vase and half of the sunflowers died as he was painting them. All right, and then I paused after painting about three sunflowers because it was just, I didn't really like the textures that I was making in the sunflowers. So I decided to just go cook some lunch. In that time, I made Romanian beans on that day. And Nicole helped me narrate because, because I was kind of tired from painting. I also can't narrate while I'm cooking. You want to know why? I'll show you why. This is why I can't narrate while I'm cooking. Because this, what is this called? This thing that sucks up the steam. It just, it, it makes this noise. Like, it's like an airplane is starting in my home, you know? Yeah, so Nicole will narrate. Put some fart boys to boil. Chop your cry vegetable by smashing it with your knife. Peel this orange turnip. If you like eating the skin, you are a rabbit. Also chop your orange turnip. The next part is important. Chop nine of your fingers off your hand. Grate two tomatoes and stick the one finger you have left over into the sauce. When your farts are boiled, put in your cry vegetable, orange turnip, and nine fingers. Stir that pot just like you stirred your life into chaos. Add some seasoning because being bland shows you have no strong emotions when you actually do. Add some bay leaves. If you don't have them, any kind of leaves will do. 
and after 40 minutes and 9 fingers less, you have your Romanian beans. Pour yourself a glass of white wine because who are we kidding you can't drink anything stronger, and grab a piece of bread. This meal is traditionally eaten with pickles, onion or chilies, but bread is king always. Okay, that's all, goodbye. Don't you love Nicole? I love her. I don't think she likes me that much, but... <laughs> I had lunch, and then came the more... I think I had a burst of energy while painting, and I was able to kind of get the petals to look a bit better. Also, fun tip, like when you're painting with acrylics, because they dry out so quickly, you can kind of cover them with something like plastic wrap or something like that, and you can keep some of your paint to use later. I did that with my blue paint because I had to fill in some gaps after I was painting like the flowers, I could fill in the gaps of blue or like correct things and I really enjoy painting with acrylic paint I mean over these last few years I've kind of shifted over to watercolor but painting with acrylic paint I, I just really like being able to fix mistakes because I'm that kind of person that makes a lot of mis mistakes while painting or like anyway sort of mistakes but with this painting I tried not to get stuck in too many details as I usually do in all my paintings and I think also the experience of having to paint something and then replicate it. So I went from left to right. So I had to replicate what I was doing on the left, also on the right, and try to make it look as similar as possible or like get the same idea on both sides. So like I think one of them would turn out better in the end because first you're practicing painting it and then you're painting it on the next one so one of them theoretically should turn out slightly better at the end but i think because i was going back and forth um what they kind of turned out similar so i think in the future if i do kind of do this technique again i will try to literally paint the left one all the time and then paint my right one so then my right one will look better does that make sense this corner sunflower over here on the left hand corner of the painting yeah i don't know it kind of has like it looks like it has blonde hair like sticking out on the side and then a blonde beard like it doesn't really look like a sunflower but you know we'll just call it a sunflower also my phone died because i film on my phone and i couldn't record the ending of the paintings and now i will reveal to you the two paintings are you ready i don't think you're ready Oh, oh, eh, pe, 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 pe. sorry, I've been watching way too much Julian content. I'm gonna let you guess which one I'm giving to my friend. All right, make your guesses in three, two, one. Bing, 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 bing. I'm giving that one to my friend. And I think the sunflowers look better than in this one. The vase is a little fat on this side. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but this little... It kind of has like, a, it's a little pregnant, I think. Yeah, that vase is a little pregnant compared to this one. Ready? I'm going to throw them and they're going to stick to the wall behind me. Ready? Did I do it? Did I stick them? Eh? This one's a little crooked. Sorry. But yeah, I think they turned out great. I think they would look good on a plain simple white wall. So now I'm going to throw in my friend's reaction to me giving her her gift. Roll the clip. Are you ready? There you go. <laughs> okay, I'm very excited. Ooh. Don't get too excited. I don't I don't know if you like it yet. <laughs> I think I like it. I always like your audio. Wait, how do you know it's my art? Maybe I asked someone to paint it. <laughs> I asked my friend to paint it. My other friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just tear it. Wow. It's mango. Yeah, do you like it? <laughs> By the way, I also painted one for myself, the same one. We have a couple. Yeah, we have a couple one. She likes it. It's really pretty. All right, you know the drill. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this one, subscribe. My Instagram and Twitter are linked down below, but I also put them up on the screen. And if you have any ideas for what you want my next video to be, comment them down below. And I'll see y'all next time. You know.